parable of the Good Samaritan, chapter 6. I can see that face again. Well, I guess it's not that face, the face of my nightmares. No, that face was beaten to a bloody pulp. The face in front of me now, it's different. I can see both of this man's eyes. Eyes that seem to be filled with a compassion that I've never seen before. Didn't even think was possible. The other man, I could only see one half-dead, bloodshot eye peeking out from behind a blue puffed lid. And that man's lips were swollen and bloody, split in a hundred different places. But on this face, there's just a sad, small little smile that creases out from the corner of its smooth and rosy pink lips. No bruises, no blood. Maybe this is the face of an angel, I think, but that would mean that I'm done for. That this angel of death has come to usher me over to Sheol because I couldn't get myself to Jericho. But no, this, this is no angel. It's the face of a man. A man whom I've never seen before. He's a stranger. He's a strange-looking stranger. He doesn't look like me, but he does. He isn't like me, but he is in every single way. And then, recognition, it just snaps into focus. For the shortest of seconds, all the synapses in my brain fire together again in unison, and I realize the strangest thing about this strange stranger. He's a Samaritan. And I feel him shifting me around, giving me a good once over, probably looking for my money belt. Well, you're too late. Everything of mine that was worth anything has already been taken from me. So now he's going back over to his donkey and he's rustling through a sack. For what? What's he looking for? A knife? A weapon? Maybe he's one of those guys that attacked me from before, come back to now finish the job. Good. Fine. Just put me out of my misery. But then I remember those eyes. Those gut-wrenching eyes with the impossibly deep compassion that was welling up behind them. He's not here to kill me. But why would he help me? He's a Samaritan. I'm a Jew. Of all the people in the world to stop and have compassion on me. Why wasn't it the priest? Why not the Levite? But no. It seems as if the help that's going to come to me is from the least likely of places. From a guy who I would have never expected, not in a million years. Not a priest, not a Levite, but a Samaritan. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.